Cheers, everyone. A lot of people consider this, the Raspberry Pi 400, as a nod to the Amiga with its wedge form and everything. Kind of like the A500 and to be honest, the Atari at the end. <clears throat> Some people com coming before the Amiga. But I, I, I agree with Dan Wood. He say this is the modern version of the Acorn Archimedes. Let me explain why I agree with Dan. Archimedes was developed by Acorn. It was made to use the ARM chip. The same ARM chip we have in our phones or an earlier version of it. The acronym for our ARM back in those days was Acorn Risk Machines. A fun fact about the ARM 250 is that it was one of the very first system on a chip and included a processor, I.O. controller and graphic controller. This is the kind of stuff Apple is doing today with their ARM based M series of computers. So Acorn was quite ahead of its time. The successor to that chip, the ARM chip, is inside this computer, the Pi 400. And RiscOS, which was the operating system for the Archimedes, is still in development natively on the ARM included a version for the Raspberry Pi. So let's have a look at that. Here on riskosdev.com they have prepared an image of Riskos loaded with lots of software for us, which we can download and uh, image to the SD card and boots into this. A cool thing about Riskos is uh, how you install programs. It has its own package manager. But for some reason, I could not for the life of me manage to get this computer online. I think it has to do with RiscOS and how well or not it supports um, the uh, Raspberry Pi 400. So I even tried changing to a normal Raspberry Pi 4 without any luck. So. I will show this later in the video on the official image. One of the programs I wanted to try is uh, this program named Draw. It is a vector based uh, graphics program and it works exactly like uh, expected. Quite simple and straightforward. If we visit the menus in info, we can see that this is developed by Acorn computers in 1993. So a nod back to when Acorn was doing the development of this operating system and software. RiskOS is from a time before everyone agrees how to do things. And I wanted to show you this with the text editor. And so if I want to save this, I press save as and give it a name. But what we would expect now is that if we press OK, we get a file browser where we choose where to save it. That's not how RiskOS works. We need to open a directory where we want to save it. And here we need to drag and drop it to the place we want to save it. I saved it in the RAM disk because I don't need this file for later. Another unusual thing in RiskOS is when we launch a program, it um, gets added to the launch bar in the bottom or the panel. And then we need to press it again like this. And then it opens. So this is Fireworks. It's a word processing tool. Seems to do the job. I don't need uh, much of software like this. So this is more than enough for me. And as always, I appreciate anything that it's not connected to the cloud. 
in this distro there is a lot of uh, software like this spreadsheet uh, and all sorts of other productivity uh, network software and uh, a few games this is a program named amplier it is uh, a music player it looks a bit like uh, winamp and amigamp and those kind of software the reason I want to show this program is because I wanted to show you how you do normal file handling in RISC-OS. You simply drag something into a program to use it, like this. I think it's mandatory to show games, or diversions as it's called in RISC-OS, quite a suiting name. And as you can see, this distro comes with some pre-installed thing like ScumVM, if you want to play those old DOS games. But uh, there is Doom. So let's uh, give that a try. And as you can see, it uh, looks like Doom and runs smoothly. That's all I can say about that. It does handle media quite well. So if we see a big buck bunny, it uh, runs smoothly. This is 480p, by the way. So the pie is not under any stress here. But uh, the operating system has to be able to play it as well. To end this part where we look at RISCOS direct before heading over to the normal version of RISCOS, I wanted to give this uh, paint program a try to see if we can make some stunning art like we usually do in these videos, if we can. I will let you be the judge of that if this is stunning art, but the program works well and I need to revisit this. As the network didn't work in uh, RISCOS Direct, I need to download the official version, RISCOS Open. So let's download the Raspberry Pi version of that and image that to an SD card and boot on the Raspberry Pi 400. And if we start Pac-Man, it seems to be working now. The network is working on the official build. And uh, Update worked great, so let's close that and uh, open the packet manager. And here you can see a lot of uh, free software that is available for download and installation. Here is a version of DOSBox. And further down we find Fuse, the ZX Spectrum emulator. If we press this icon, we can install it. So let's just try that and see if it works. And if we speed on through this part, we can see that the installation works. And if we check in apps and probably emulation, we have Fuse and it works. Quite uh, the easy installation of software. I like this. One thing I find even more interesting is uh, this thing called Plinkstore. In Plinkstore you find commercial software available for RISCOS. And if we now open the catalog and sort it by price, like this, we see there is some software costing 99 pounds. That's a lot of money for software, even modern software. But here you can see there is available what looks like a decent uh, CAD software of some kind. And uh, here is a browser, Iris browser, it's called. And if we try to, oops, 
and if we try to watch the screenshot it looks like quite a modern one and Plinkstar crashed but I guess I've showed you everything I wanted to show you as you can see there is a lot of things going on for Riscoa still uh, I wanted to have a look at what it was like to use the Archimedes and luckily they have included an emulator of the original Archimedes chips and uh, yes, an emulator and the OS. So let's start that and have a look at what, what it was like um, in the UK. In those days the Archimedes was, uh, was a hit. Cheers, by the way. And here it is, like it was on the Archimedes, Riskuas 3. I wanted to show you something cool, something very special. But let's first write some text in this editor. As you can see down here, there is no RAM disk. But if I press here, this is very powerful. In this task manager, you can on the fly allocate RAM to the RAM disk like this. And then we have a RAM disk of 320K. So if we now open it, you can see it's empty and we can save to it just like we did in the modern versus just uh, write a name on the file like this and drag the file to the RAM disk. Very powerful stuff, this task uh, manager in RiskOS. There are a few games here. Uh, one of the mm, better known one is Elite. I have seen the Amiga version of this, so it will be interesting to compare them. And let's try to use it. I have never been any good at this. Uh, I struggle a lot. So my mission right now is to try to crash, which is uh, hard enough. The game is super smooth though. And there is my goal. So if I manage to, yeah, game over. Another game that is included is Pac-Mania, so let's give that a try. And I think that concludes everything I wanted to show you tonight. So that's a very, very brief look at uh, RISCOAS. I'm not, um, I don't know my way around the operating system very well. So I think for a proper um, demo of it, I think you should visit uh, Dan Wood's uh, channel and have a look at his uh, uh, video of it. It's very good. Is it? Uh, new Archimedes in its heart. Let's pretend it has a heart. I think so. I think Dan Wood is right. But thanks for having a look around at it with me tonight. And uh, cheers. And I hope you have a wonderful evening.